What do you know about medical terminology? Um, I know that a, uh, predo a, 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 a predominant, predominant, you playing in the game tonight? Could you tell me 10 facts about medical terminology? Of course, all right. When trying to figure out a difficult word, start with the suffix, then the prefix, and then finally the root word. Medical terms are Greek and Latin. A combining form is sometimes used with medical terms. The study of word origins is etymology. Nephritis is the inflammation of the kidneys. Every word needs a suffix and a prefix. Medical terms are universal. Post means after, sub means under, and hypo means higher. Thank you. So, Ryan Schilling, can you tell us 10 facts about career clusters? Yeah, I can. Um, well, there's five clusters. There's each cluster has uh, many jobs that you can choose from in the health field. Um, yes. You learn all about the national health care skill standards. Yes. Uh, you learn great communication skills in this career clusters. Great answer. Um, you do spend a lot of time in school for any jobs that you choose in these clusters. Great answer. Um, there's five different levels of employment. Yes. And uh, the higher your education, the more you get paid. So the more school you do, the more you get paid. Yes. You need certain traits and abilities for these fields. Good answer. There's a lifelong occupational pathway in each cluster. Yes. And uh, last but not least, you need to pursue continuing education throughout your career in any cluster you choose. That was probably the best answer I've heard all day. Thank Congratulations, you. Ryan Schilling. Can you tell me 10 facts about safety and infection control? Hmm. Well, to start off, first of all, you always wear your PPE, your personal protective equipment. Secondly, whenever you have an open wound, um, you always make sure you close it because if you don't, infections, diseases, or viruses can be in your wounds. Thirdly, sterilization is the best way to kill white groups and spores. So always use sterilization. And antiseptics are what you apply to your skin. Um, you do not apply sterilization your skin and biological agents are they, they cause death or illness to people hmm. contagions contagious infections are infections that you, you are able to spread to other people and the chain of infection infectious agents reservoir portal of exit portal of entry susceptible host, and mode of, mode of transmission. Um, use disinfection if needed, which anytime you spill a chemical or anything, you should always use disinfection and sterilization. And lastly, um, viruses are the smallest microorganisms. Thank you. Hi, Mr. Delvin. Would you ever consider taking the class Allied Health 1? Yep. Hi, Shatea. Could you read us 10 facts about first aid and CPR? Sure. Um, you can receive the certification. You deal with real life reenactments. You help sick and injured people. Um, you learn 10 color emergency codes. You learn step by step instructions for an emergency. You could save someone's life. You learn many signs and symptoms of emergency situations. You learn exactly how to assess on emergency situations. You learn all first aid providers' responsibilities. And you learn the five types. Do you think you'll ever use any of those in real life? Uh, yeah, you know, I see some of my children in the restaurant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go up and save them. Tell me 10 facts about <laughs> history. The doctor's corporate ethics is called the Hippocratic Oath. It was created to protect patients. The discovery of a microscope has allowed for various bacteria and other pathogens that are naked to the human eye. The symbol of modern medicine is caduceus. The father of modern medicine is... So Danny, what was your favorite assignment in allied health? Out of all the assignments we did in this class, which were many, I would have to say in the beginning of the semester when we had to interview somebody from the healthcare field. That was personally my favorite assignment because um, I took in a lot of information and I learned a lot 
and gain a lot of experience about the healthcare field. I interviewed my mom and she taught me a lot about what her job as a nurse. So what are your thoughts about Allied Health One? To say the least, it is not for me. Um, personally, I took in some information, but I enjoyed, I didn't, I mean, I did not enjoy the class itself, the learning part, but I enjoyed um, socializing, being with my friends. Alright, thank you. This is Danny Blosher. Okay, this is Danny Blosher. Now, Ryan, what did you like best about Allied Health? Um, what I liked best was all the activities Chill. and games that we did in the class. And uh, they had a lot of fun and all the socializing we did. And what I would take away from this class is uh, my CPR and first aid lessons. Because I feel like I'll always be able to use those throughout my lifetime. Good answer. <laughs> now, Ryan, I have one last question for you. I think there's one more answer to this question. What was your favorite assignment? Well, my favorite assignment was the health fair that we did with the little kids. They're so funny. Why? Well, because it was just a good experience and you had to talk to a lot of people. What was your favorite assignment in Allied Health 1, Dice? My favorite assignment was actually when we had to interview healthcare professionals. This was only because you got to really get a lot of knowledge and, and different perspectives of that field. Stay. Hi again, Dice. What will we take away from Allied Health 1? I'm going to take away the different medical terms we use and the ability to think on a higher level than I started in the class. I'm also going to take away the ability to you know, really know more about my field and what I can be. And that's pretty much it. Thank you. So an orthodontist, an orthodontist, they uh, they put they fix teeth. Yeah. They put uh, braces on. Hey Ryan, could you give us five pieces of advice how to do well in age one? Of course. Well, first I'd say always pay attention. Definitely, definitely come to class. They need to do much of that. Um, take all the notes that you can, because they'll, they'll come in handy throughout the year. Always study your notes and do all your classwork. Okay, um... Hi, Shateo. What was your favorite assignment in Allied Health 1? My favorite assignment was when we did, like, the medical stuff, and we had to research, like, the time, to we did the big time, those have to be Nice. How about, um... What, what are you going to take away from this class? I'm going to take away all the knowledge that I can get, and all the medical stuff, and maybe help someone. Okay. So I have one more question for you. What did you like best about this class? Um, I liked how Mrs. White always wants me. And um, then I met the people. And I was just listening. Awesome. GYN delivers babies. Yeah. I know a neurologist is someone who operates on the brain. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's about it. Man. All right. Thanks. Thank you.